Good morning class 8. I am Zarina Yakub, your English teacher. This is the fourth lesson for unit 6, the ant lion. In the previous lesson, we had read that the meat ant was in the pit. Max had given it to the ant lion. It was putting all its effort to come out of the trap. It had almost made it once. But Max pushed it again into the pit bottom. The ant lion had caught it and it was in great panic. Now I would ask you to do personal reading of the rest of the story. You will have to start from last three lines on page 82 and then the whole page 83. I'll give you some elements and explanation which will help you to comprehend the text easily. As you'll proceed with the reading, you'll see that Morvena now again felt some sympathy for the meat aunt. She said that she wanted to save it, but it was too late now. She felt that they had been cruel to the animals. Also, Max didn't seem so excited now as he was in the beginning. And finally came the scene which they were so keen to assist right from the beginning. The cruel and deadly attacks of the ant lion on the meat ant. They could see the shovel jaws working. Since the ants are silent creatures, also this deadly fight happened in silence. But there is mentioned that the golden air should have been full of their shrieks and groaning. What does this mean? This line is the last in the paragraph which tells about the sounds which were there apparently around the children. But the children were not able to notice those sounds because all their attention was in the pit. The expression golden air is used because of the sunshine of the afternoon and for the color of the sand. There is the sound of water flowing in creek but in the imagination of the children the air must be filled with shrieks of ant lion which was continuously attacking on the meat ant which was for sure groaning desperately. Now the two children were really sad and guilty of their cruel act. The way they had run away from the ant lion pit showed that they will never want to do such thing again. Now for homework, please do question D, E and F. For the rest of the exercises, I'll give you written instructions and explanation. Please do your work properly, read the story once again, listen to my explanation and do your work in your own words. Till next lesson, goodbye.